Hey, what's up, everybody? Welcome back to my channel. Thanks so much for joining us today. It is episode two of Cooking Through Cookbooks. We are still cooking through the Kristen Cavallari cookbook called Truly Simple. Um, tonight's recipe, we are modifying again. We're not doing any of these recipes as they are 100% called for in the book um, because we are on a cut. And also, we want to make sure that like we can adapt the recipes to whatever kind of diet, lifestyle that you live. You don't necessarily have to follow every recipe to a T. Um, so tonight's recipe is actually stuffed to spaghetti squash boats. Um, the only substitute I'm doing is the recipe calls for Italian sausage and we only have ground turkey, so I'm doing that. Um, it also calls for um, a yellow onion. I'm omitting the yellow onion um, and the rest of the stuff for keeping. So let's get into what the ingredients are, get them all out and prep our station and then we'll start cooking. I will say that this is going to be a really lengthy recipe. Um, it is 445 currently and I'm assuming it'll probably take about an hour to cook, um, probably about an hour 15 with prep. So let's get into it. Okay, first things first is I got a cutting board out and again, we're doing stuffed spaghetti squash boats. So these bad boys, if you ever cut into spaghetti squash, they're pretty hard to cut through. Um, I am using this kind of a knife to cut through it. The first thing I'm doing is I punctured a bunch of holes around the center of where I'm going to actually cut them in half. And then I'm microwaving them for five minutes to basically let the skin soften. That will help us cut it. In the meantime, I'm gonna grab a pan, some foil, spray that down and get that ready because we're going to be setting the oven to 400 degrees and roasting the spaghetti squash for 45 minutes. Again, that's the longest piece of the puzzle to this recipe is 45 minutes in the oven for the spaghetti squash. And while that's cooking, we can start to prep our ingredients for what we're going to be stuffing them with. Um, I would say the spaghetti squash obviously is like the first thing you got to do so that it's cooking um, and when you're prepping and cooking the rest of the stuffing and whatnot um, you do not have to wait for those to cook. Okay so let's put some boil on a pan, spray it, and preheat our Okay, I'm grabbing out some salt and pepper and some Italian seasoning. That's what we're going to be spraying our spaghetti squash down with in seasoning. We're gonna do olive oil spray on the spaghetti squash, season them with this seasoning, and then we're gonna flip them down on the foil pan, put them in the oven at 400 degrees for 45 minutes. So again, we're preheating our oven to 400 degrees. The squash currently is cooking um, in the microwave to soften the skin. We're about to pull those out. I'd say anywhere from three to five minutes. If you do the full five minutes, you might need to use a oven mitt to grab them because they're gonna be super hot. Cut through, let's just try it. So what you're gonna do is actually cut the stem off. Be very careful because they are hard. Hard as a rock. Okay, and you're just going to <laughs> again be so careful. Please do not cut yourself. Okay. Someone once asked me why I don't cook spaghetti squash. This is why. Because it's an ass pain to cut. Obviously, it's squashed, so this is what it looks like. Cut it open, and now we're gonna remove the seeds. Kind of like a pumpkin. Not too hard, though. You don't want to get any of the skin, because that's what we're gonna eat. Okay. And we're gonna season with, I use just olive oil spray. We're gonna do a little salt. Pepper, and then a little bit of Italian seasoning. Okay, 
Now these are gonna be flipped over and we're gonna roast them for 45 minutes. So I'm making four servings. Each half is a serving. So once you do all that, you're going to put them in the oven for 45 minutes. We're gonna clean up our station and then I'll show you how to prep all the ingredients for the actual stuffing. Okay, here are the rest of the ingredients. The squash is in the oven. It is baking for 45 minutes. Um, in the meantime, we're going to be washing, chopping, prepping our veggies, um, and cooking our ground turkey. Ground turkey, no antibiotics, all natural, all vegetable diet, no preservatives. Um, I have a code if you're interested in trying Butcher Box. So we're doing ground turkey. We have spinach. We're gonna be doing two cups of spinach. We're gonna do minced garlic probably around a tablespoon of minced garlic. We're using a cup of this sauce. It's Bertoli tomato and basil. Um, we are going to wash and chop two medium zucchinis and two Roma tomatoes. Um, the seasoning I'm using on the turkey is going to be this Trader Joe's seasoning and this garlic salt. It's just Lowry's garlic salt. So. We're gonna wash and chop our veggies, and after that, um, we are going to start to ground our brown, our ground turkey, and get that cooking up. So I'm gonna prep everything, and then once I prep everything, we'll check in on the time with our lovely Alex. <laughs> I don't wanna say her name because she's gonna go off. Um, but we'll check in on the timer, and we'll see where we're at. I would say probably start cooking everything when you have about maybe 20 minutes left on your timer. You don't wanna cook this stuff too soon because then it might get a little cold sitting out. Um, we want it to be warm when we put it back in the oven to put cheese on it and um, have that get all melty, gooey, ooey. Um, okay, anyway, so let's start to wash and chop our veggies. Okay, our veggies are chopped, but because I want them to be finely chopped and I'm just lazy, I'm getting out my handy dandy chopper. Um, I'm thinking that I probably want the cubes bigger than this little guy so I'm gonna go get the bigger one all right this is the one we're gonna use for the zucchini so I'm gonna pop this in here be very careful if you have one of these because you can really hurt yourself grab one of my knives and I'm just going to cut the ends off my zucchini um, I think what I want to do is cut it in half and then maybe do some chunks and we'll do it that way um, it's like the slap chop if you grew up in the 90s, you know what I mean. Alright, so the zucchini is chopped. Ah. Okay, so we're gonna, gonna put this in a bowl, or yeah, let's put this in a bowl and set it. Because I'm gonna use this again to chop the tomatoes, so we're gonna combine everything, so it doesn't matter if there's still zucchini left in here. I just need to make room for the tomatoes. Okay, that is backwards on the struggle bus. Is it? No. So the, I'm using two Roma tomatoes. You can use whatever tomatoes you'd like. So I'm just gonna cut off the ends, very similar to what I did, or cut off the end, right, with a little stem. And I'm cutting these into four. I'm just putting them on in there and letting them chop out. Super easy. Again, cutting off the end, cutting them into fours. I like to get ones that are not super ripe and juicy because um, I don't want my stuff to be runny, right? So we're all done with the chopper, so we're gonna put that aside. And again, we're gonna combine this in a bowl. So get it all out. And then what we're gonna actually do is we're gonna spice this before we put it in the pan. So we're gonna spray it with a little olive oil. And give it a little mix. Kind of like a veggie salad. Love that. Okay. 
Now I'm going to season it. Ooh, I put these on the stove. That is not a good idea. It's hot. Um, now that I've completely cooked this garlic, we're gonna do about a tablespoon of, well, not a tablespoon, probably like a teaspoon of garlic. Will you? You can measure with your heart. You can add whatever you want. So about a teaspoon of garlic. Again, we're gonna do some of this Trader Joe's seasoning. We're gonna do a little bit of garlic salt. Not a lot because we already put that minced garlic. We already put minced garlic in there. So now we're gonna give this a big stir. Okay, and we're gonna let this marinade for a little bit. And again, this is, this is veggie, so you don't have to refrigerate it to marinate. You can just leave it on the counter while we do other stuff. Okay. So again, I'm gonna clean up my workstation just a little bit because then we're gonna chop some spinach and I'm gonna also put some spinach in there. I'm gonna do that by hand though. So let's clean up our station a tad. So again, we're gonna take two cups of spinach. This is about a quarter of a bag of spinach. Again, like if you know spinach, it cooks down a lot. So we're gonna take about two cups, about a handful, and we're gonna give it a rough chop. Veggies first, and then once the veggies are pretty soft, um, not like too soft, you don't want them soggy, then we're going to put in our spinach. So we're just gonna keep everything setting aside. Alexa, how long left on my timer? You have 31 minutes left on your 45 minute timer. Great, so we have 31 minutes left. That means for the next 15 minutes, probably the next 10 minutes, we're gonna just let this chill and clean up our workstation, wash all of our things that we've used so far. Um, rude. And then we'll be ready to cook the turkey. Um, we will still have about 20 minutes left on the squash boats. So in the meantime, we will cook the turkey, we'll cook through the veggies, um, we'll combine everything, and then we'll separate it once they come out of the oven. And I'll show you how to do that. So for now, let's clean up our workstation. We are back. Um, we're going to check what time it is, and we'll see if we can start cooking some of this stuffing for our spaghetti squash boats. Alexa, how long left on my timer? You have 18 minutes left on your 45 minute timer. We have 18 minutes left. That's a perfect amount of time. We're gonna cook up our turkey. Like I mentioned, we are going to be cooking it with the Trader Joe's seasoning, as well as some garlic salt. Um, you can use any seasonings that you want. These are just what I'm using. So we're gonna cook the turkey. We're also, we've pre-seasoned with olive oil and those same spices, the vegetable mix, and we've chopped our spinach. We're also gonna cook this first. Remember, we're gonna cook the vegetables in a separate pan, let them get a little bit soft, maybe like three or four minutes stirring um, occasionally. And then we're gonna throw in our spinach. Once that's wilted, we'll keep um, sauteing it until the veggies are um, not completely soggy, but you don't want like a hard bite to them. So probably about another two to three minutes after that. In the same time, we are at the same time, we are going to, in a separate pan, cook up our turkey. We're gonna get all of those prepped and cooked. That should leave us just a, enough time for the spaghetti squash to be cooked in the oven. And then we're gonna pull the spaghetti squash out and I'm gonna show you what we're gonna do with that next. Oh, I almost forgot. After your vegetables and your turkey are cooked, we're gonna combine them in one pan and then we're gonna add a cup of this marinara. Is it marinara? It's like a tomato basil pasta sauce. So we're gonna add that. You can do marinara, you can do alfredo, you can do any kind of sauce you want. Um, this is what we're using tonight. So we're gonna do a cup of that, we're gonna stir it all up, and then that is allowing us to separate our mixture into four different servings for our boats. Before we top it with tea, cheese, <laughs> before we chop, Jesus, before we top it with cheese and put it back in the oven. Okay, so we've added the spinach to the veggie mixture. We've topped it with a lid so that it starts to wilt. Um, we're still cooking up the ground turkey 
and the squ spaghetti squash boats are almost done. I'm reusing this bowl, so I've cleaned it and dried it, and now we're gonna use this when we assemble our spaghetti boats. Um, the recipe calls for us just basically like scraping all of the squash into a bowl, mixing it with the veggie mixtures, and then separating them into free three separate, four separate, four separate servings. And I'm actually gonna do them one by one so that it's just easier and I don't have to get a huge bowl out and like, I don't know, I can portion it a little bit better. So this is the bowl we use. That is the next step we're gonna do is assemble our boats. Okay, we've combined everything. Let me show you what it looks like. So we're gonna cook this for another like two or three minutes. And then we're going to pull the spaghetti squash out of the stove. Okay, we're back. The spaghetti squash is out of the oven and we are going to assemble. I'll be very careful. You're gonna have your bowl and you're gonna take your squash, your squash and your fork. And you're going to very carefully scrape the inside out. It should look like spaghetti. If it doesn't scrape easily, then it's not done and you need to cook it longer. But this is perfect. You want to be super gentle with it because you don't want to cut your boat open because we're going to use this to actually stuff the other mixture in. Okay, And again, it's super hot. You can see it steaming out. We're going to put it in this bowl. Remember, we're going to be plating these individually. We're not going to do bulk. You can definitely do bulk. I just want to make sure that these are getting enough squash and not one is getting less or more than the others because it messes up the macros. So once you've got majority of it out, it'll look like that. You're going to put in a cup and a half of the mixture that we made, the sausage mixture, or we're using ground turkey. So Actually, I think a cup will actually do it. It'll look like that. And then again, you're just going to give it a quick mix. Quick mix. Okay, and then we're gonna, doing that, you can't even see it. Quick mix. We're gonna put it all back into this boat. Now, we're gonna do this for all four and then I'll show you what we're doing after. Okay, we've stuffed our, what is it? <laughs> what are they? Spaghetti squash boats. We stuffed our boats and now we're gonna top them. I'm topping them with this. Boats and boats. <laughs> with this Fiesta blend cheese. You can do whatever cheese you want. You can do fat-free mozzarella, whatever. This is what I have, so this is what we're using. I'm gonna top them with cheese, put them back in the oven for about five or six minutes, let that melt, and then serve and enjoy. Um, it's gonna be amazing. I'll show you what the end results look like. Okay, we're back. The spaghetti squash boats are out of the oven. I will show you what they look like, but I hope you enjoy this recipe just as much as I do. Um, again, it's a modification off of a Kristen Cavallari recipe, stuffed squash, uh, stuffed spaghetti squash boats. Um, let's see here. I will post the macros because I don't have them on my phone. Actually, I might. Let me just double check. Okay, so this is for four servings, and the macros are going to be 382 calories, 33 grams of carbs, 8 grams of fat, and 38 grams of protein. So it's a high protein, very um, low fat, and I would say uh, volume type of dinner. So if you are on a cut, this is great, and if you're on a bulk, you can just have two. Um, okay, I hope you enjoyed. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up subscribe and share and we'll see you next time.